Welcome to Softcraft Studio, where analysts find their edge. Today, we're diving deep into Excel versus Python for data analysis. Let's break it down. Excel and Python are not enemies, they're tools. Their usefulness depends on the job at hand. Choose wisely as it can save you hours. Excel has been the go-to tool for over 30 years. It's accessible, flexible, and ideal for quick analysis and stakeholder handoffs. With complex data, Python rises to the challenge. It allows for handling messy data, automation, and integration with libraries like Pandas and NumPy. Think of Excel as a Swiss army knife, versatile but manual. Python is your power toolkit, harder to learn, but built for long-term speed. Most data analysts don't have to pick a side. The best use both strategically, maximizing their strengths in a hybrid workflow. In this micro course, we'll explore when to use Excel, when to switch to Python, and discuss their strengths and limitations. Let's give Excel its due credit. It might be the old reliable of data tools, but there's a reason it's still used in 90% of businesses worldwide. Excel shines in certain types of data work. First up, speed and accessibility. Need to crunch some numbers for a quick client update? Just open a spreadsheet. With just a few clicks, you've got charts and pivot tables. The visual formatting tools are still better than most code-based plots for boardroom-ready polish. Third, exploratory data analysis, especially for small to mid-sized datasets. Excel makes it easy to scroll, sort, filter, and highlight trends to catch outliers. Fourth, data cleaning tasks for small files. Tasks like find and replace, remove duplicates, and conditional formatting are simple point-and-click tasks. Fifth, working with stakeholders. Not everyone knows Python, but almost everyone knows Excel, making reports and collaboration simple. Here's a quick example. A retail analyst generates weekly sales summaries for 10 store managers using Excel templates without code. Excel is highly valuable when working offline or under strict IT controls. Many organizations restrict coding but approve Excel. In short, Excel shines when you need quick wins, work with smaller datasets, need stakeholder-friendly outputs, or face coding limitations. But Excel has limits, and once your work runs into them, it's probably time to meet Python. That's exactly what we're covering next. If Excel is the Swiss army knife of data, Python is the full-blown toolbox. It's not here to replace Excel, it's here to extend your capabilities. Excel struggles with performance with big datasets. Python handles millions of rows effortlessly with libraries like Pandas and NumPy. Say goodbye to repetitive manual tasks. In Python, automate processes with scripts that run cleanly and regularly. Data cleaning becomes systematic in Python. Remove outliers and handle missing values in seconds across multiple files. For advanced analysis, Python shines. Perform regressions, forecast trends, and build models far beyond Excel's limits. Create custom, interactive visuals with Python libraries like Matplotlib and Seaburn, perfect for complex data. Python integrates seamlessly with databases and APIs, building data pipelines without manual file handling. A data analyst automates daily logistics reports, saving hours of work, without involving Excel at all. In short, Python is essential for scale, automation, advanced analytics, custom visuals, and system integration. Next, we'll compare Excel and Python for real-world tasks to see when to use which tool and how to combine them. Now that we've seen where Excel shines and where Python takes over, Let's compare the two tools side by side across real world data analysis scenarios. Scenario 1 Cleaning survey data. Excel can use filters, formulas like equals trim, and pivot tables, but it lags with larger files. With Python and Pandas, you clean rows programmatically, standardize text, drop nulls, fix typos. It's fast and scalable. Scenario 2 Monthly sales report. Excel makes summarizing and charting easy with drag and drop features and pivot tables. With Python, generating reports is automated, but initially takes more time. For small datasets, Excel wins. Scenario 3. Forecasting revenue. 
Excel can use basic trend lines, but advanced forecasting is limited. Python's tools like Profit offer more power for accurate predictions, allowing model evaluations and updates. Scenario 4. Automating weekly KPI updates. Excel involves copy-pasting and refreshing, increasing error risks. Python automates this process entirely, no manual work required after setup. Scenario 5. Ad hoc data exploration. Excel offers quick filtering and visual analysis without coding. Python can provide deeper insights but requires upfront coding, great for thorough investigations, slower for quick checks. Key takeaway. Excel is for quick tasks. Python is essential for scalability and advanced analysis. The best analysts know when to switch gears. You don't have to choose between Excel and Python. The real power comes when you combine both in your workflow. Start in Python. Clean, transform, and analyze large datasets. Export the output to a CSV or Excel file. Then switch to Excel for formatting, dashboards, and presentations. Python handles scale and logic, while Excel delivers visual storytelling and accessibility, perfect for stakeholder presentations. Many teams collect data in Excel sheets. Instead of calculating in Excel, you feed the file into a Python script that does the heavy lifting. Python pulls live data from APIs or databases, transforms it, and pushes it to an Excel file with updated visuals. Check out libraries like OpenPyxel, Excel Wings, and Pandas with Excel Writer to bridge the gap without switching tools entirely. Mastering the Excel plus Python combo is one of the smartest moves you can make for your career. Choosing between Excel and Python isn't just about personal preference, it's about the context of the project. Let's look at five key project factors to help you decide which tool makes more sense, or if you should use both. If you're working with small to medium datasets, under 50,000 rows, Excel usually works just fine. But for larger datasets, Python is your friend. Excel works great for static files like CSVs, while Python is better for pulling data from APIs or databases. Need something quick and dirty? Excel shines here, but for repeatable tasks, Python is the way to go. Know your audience before choosing your tools. Non-technical users prefer Excel visuals, while technical teams benefit from Python outputs. Evaluate your current skill set. Stick with Excel if your team is Excel heavy, or lean into Python if they're data savvy. Excel and Python each have strengths, and both can play a vital role in modern data analysis. That's a wrap on Excel versus Python. Which should you use for data analysis? We've covered the core differences, real-world use cases, hybrid approaches, and how to pick the right tool based on project needs. At the end of the day, the best analysts aren't just tool experts, they're problem solvers. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Softcraft Studio, and turn on notifications for more bite-sized, practical microcourses like this. Want to go deeper? Check out softcraftstudio.net for more analyst resources, templates, blogs, and videos made just for professionals like you. Looking for ready-to-use templates? Browse our curated collection on our website or head over to our Etsy store. Follow Softcraft Studio on LinkedIn and Twitter to connect with fellow analysts and catch the latest content drops.